Why are they clapping? Why are they all clapping so much? They must think it's all over. It's certainly not. It's just beginning. This is the uh, third uh, quarterfinal. I'll tell you more details in a minute. Pause the only to introduce you to my very close personal friend, Miss Carol Vorderman. Yes, I'm practising for Christmas with this jacket on tonight. Father Christmas and I both can't get down the chimney <laughs> this year, I'm afraid. <laughs> However, um, I'm in full festive cheer, Richard. Well, I'm very glad to hear it because time marches on. We're approaching, of course, our great uh, knockout for our supreme champion, and that uh, is a great prelude to Christmas. But uh, let us meet the latest uh, quarter-finalists in this, the final group, Gareth Williams and Wayne Kelly. <laughs> very nice to see these uh, chaps back again. Uh, Gareth Williams. Uh, college lecturer uh, is Gareth. In 1992, as a 38-year-old, he became champion of series 23. And then, if you recall, we had a special show for our 1500th programme, and he just lost out to Alan Saldana. That's his only defeat in a record of 11 wins from 12 games. So, uh, Gareth, you haven't really changed very much over the years. Time has been kind to you. So, uh, we wish you well, and welcome him back, Gareth Williams. Thank you. And here's Wayne Kelly to tell you all about Wayne. A smiling, cheeky, chappy sort of fellow. Not a smile and a song. You might get a song, but you get plenty of smiles from Wayne. Uh, he was runner-up in Series 28 back in 1994 when he was just 20. Uh, he was at uh, Salford University at the time. He rushed from uh, his exam hall one day to take part in Countdown in the afternoon and won with flying colours. Suddenly he's unemployed now with a 2-2 in accounting and finance. He's hoping to give a good account of himself by boosting his record of eight wins from ten games. So, good luck to you, Wayne Kelly. <laughs> well, I tell you, they come and go in Dictionary Corner, but quite frankly, we've had a really good time, at least I have, and I hope you have as well in the last uh, few days with our guest. Uh, sadly, it's his last show, but when you got to go, you got to go. But he's here for the next half hour. Welcome! <coughs> Richard Digens with David Swarby. Thank you. I'm sort of glad this is my last show, really, for a while, because uh, I'm a bit worried about Wayne trying to get a job as an accountant wearing a tutu. And um, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's... <laughs> and, and Gareth Pitcher, when he was 38, had short hair. Well, I had short hair when I was 38, and it's sadly got shorter. I can't believe I've met the only man in the country whose hair actually gets longer through the years. It's quite <laughs> depressing, really. I'm going to go home after this one. I think, actually, looking at you there, without the beard, you're a bit of a... Can I, how can, dare I say this? Dare I say it? I mean it? I mean well. You're a bit of a... Gareth, you're a bit of a David Meller look-alike. What do you think? Yes? Oh. You take the beard off. Yes, I think so. Any road. You're not sucking my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on, Gareth. I think filled you with confidence in that last remark. Off you go. OK, thanks. Um, <laughs> can I have a consonant, please, Carol? Guy is cheeky, isn't he? N. And a vowel. I think he's wrong, by the way, Guy. E. And a consonant. S. Another consonant. B. And a vowel. A. And a consonant. R. Uh, a vowel, please. I. Uh, another consonant. N. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. OK. And O. Like an Italian holiday resort. Ah, we've been to Nesbarino, you know. <laughs> Here we go. I've got an eight. Uh, good, good start. Uh, what have you got, Wayne? Only a seven. Oh, well, well, good. <laughs> not bad, but might not be good enough. What have you got? Banners. Yes, banners is fine, but now an eight. Baronies. Baronies. Baronies is fine. Yes. 
Dave, you got that one? Well done. Did you? Mm -hmm. Right. Baronies. If I just look at that and uh, give it a round of applause, I think it's the first word of the day, and it's very good indeed. Yeah. Baronies. Excellent. Good. Um, well, you were a seven, Wayne, but it didn't score, so see what you do with your choice then. I'll start with a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Wayne. H. And a vowel. A. Consonant, please. And a vowel. <laughs> o. Consonant. V. Another consonant, please. M. Vowel. A. Consonant. R. And another consonant, please. And another consonant, Wayne. Thank you. And T. Thank you. That's our Wayne selection in the frame. Countdown is the game. Oh, four. Four. Yes, no wonder you're whispering. <laughs> right. Gareth. I've got a six. You've got a six. Okay. What's the four, Wayne? Moth. Moth. Yes. M well, moth. Now a six. Throat. Throat. Yeah. Looking a bit sombre, Richard. Yes, no, we've got throat. I've got tomato, which is a small tomato. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing. It's excellent. Yes, thank you. Right, thank you. Um, right, so 13 for you, Gareth. 14, in fact, actually. And it's your turn now, please. OK, uh, could I have a consonant, please? Thank you, Gareth. Oh, dear. X. Another consonant. T. And a vowel. E. Um, another vowel, please. U. Consonant. R. Uh, consonant. N. A vowel, please. O. A consonant. C. And another consonant. And another one, thank you, Gareth. And that's S. Good O. Let's start the clock on this. Round three. You like saying that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, an eight, Wayne? I can say it this time as oh, well. Oh, good lad, that's great. Okay, what, what's yours, Wayne? Counters. The counters, yes, Gareth? Trounces. And trounces. Trounces and uh, counters, obviously, very good for eight. Yeah, nothing wrong with those. Just a few eights. Recounts, uh, construe. The eight is the number. Very good. Good, okay. Well, there's counters for starters there. Counters. That's what one or two of us are on this programme, are counters, I suppose. Um, and there we are, so 22 and 8. Now, Wayne, count your numbers, please. Right. Um, two from the top, please. Two from the top row, Wayne. And four from the third. This row? Yeah. OK. One, two, three, and four. All right, then, chaps, we have seven and three, four and six, 75 and 50. And the target for you both, oh, 650. Okay, 650 is what we want. Let's see if we can count to that. Mm. Here we go.
thought as much. 6.50. It's all gone totally quiet here. Uh, Wayne? 6.50. Yeah. And you, Gareth? 6.50. Wayne, 6.50, please. 7 plus 6 is 13. <laughs> yes, 7 plus 6 is 13. Times 50. Yeah, 6.50. Yeah, right. Uh, Gareth? Uh, 3 plus 4 plus 6 is 13. Yeah. Times 50. <laughs> Just to be different. <laughs> OK, so everyone gets prizes for that. So 650. And we march on now to the half-time point, actually. 32 and 18. But here, to take us into half-time, here's Richard Digent. Do you want a poem or what? What? OK. I'd rather have what? Go on in. <laughs> Every Wednesday, half past, uh, every weekday, sorry, at half past four, <laughs> that clock ticks away 30 seconds once more. Whatever I'm doing, I have to refrain as I search for a nine-letter beauty again. Another ten points as easy as that. I get the conundrum in two seconds flat. To be honest, I don't put much brain power upon it. So my daughter said, uh, all right, Big Ed, you go on it. <laughs> so this is my moment. I need a quick pun to get us into the end of part one. I know. I'll see you again in part two. Very inspired. Richard, over to you. Ah, oh, he's right. Great. That's great stuff. OK, well, he said it all. We will, as he says, see you again in part two. Thank you so much. edition course of Vegas, but I got carried away and blew the budget. So I persuaded Jeff here to fill me with his camcorder. That's enough, Jeff. I'm so sorry, Voxel. I love the Corsa. I can still do it. Action! The gorgeous course of Vegas comes with 700 pounds worth of extras free, including central locking and sunroof. The board. The course of Vegas from Voxel. The small car with the big personality. I'm an ordinary housewife and mother. I've dragged a J-cloth over my surfaces and plumped my Chesterfield, but I'm at my tether's end, dinner-wise. But wait, tucked behind the black bean sauce, in between the cayenne and the vanilla pods, is my salvation. Bisto, I add a splash to some sausages, chops, or even a burger, and Bob's your in-law, a filfulling family meal for any family with a family to feed. That's altogether a better idea than doing something out of a book with giblets. Despite being spelt wrong, Breath Assure has become the number one breath freshener in America. Must be one hell of a product. Hank plays Holly. The unforgettable songs of Buddy Holly in the unmistakable style of Hank Martin. Seventeen Buddy Holly classics as only Hank can play them. Hank Plays Holly. On CD and cassette, out now. Haggerty Jewel Clean. Available at all branches of H. Samuel, Ernest Jones and other leading jewelers. I wish it could be Christmas for Mince pies, oh, I love mince pies. Well, it was either that or a mountain bike. Hmm? Best Buys, irresistible offers from Safeway. Try an Epson Stylus Color 500 and get a free T-shirt printing factory. Healthy skin can often become painfully dry. So Vaseline has developed Dermacare for very dry skin. Dermacare helps your skin to hold moisture in and heal itself from within. Vaseline Dermacare, helping dry skin to heal itself. Okay, welcome back. It's nice to see you. Rather, it's nice to have you see us, I suppose. It's 
Or strictly correct. Here we are, 32 and 18, these fellows. Gareth Williams on for 32, Wayne Kelly on 18. Wayne Kelly, a round five, over to you. I'll have a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Wayne. W. And a vowel. O. Consonant. G. Another consonant, please. L. A vowel. <laughs> e. <laughs> A consonant. <laughs> the woman in the front row just collapsed. Um, <laughs> R. <laughs> uh, another consonant, please. V. A vowel. <laughs> e. And another vowel, please. All right, then. It's going for a sit down. Uh, o. <laughs> Okay, well, don't. Terry has his togglers. We have our wogglers here, so let's see if we can rearrange them. Here we go. Good. Gareth? Six. Right. Gareth, six. Uh, glower. Uh, and yours? Grovel. And grovel. Yes. Grovel and glower. It's our six. What have you got, Richard? Yeah, we can only manage six. Glover. Uh, glower, yes. Cricketer. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> 38 and 24. Round six, Gareth. Um, can I have a consonant, please? Thank you. P. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. D. A vowel. I. A consonant. Y. Another consonant. G. A vowel, please. A. Uh, a consonant. F. And another consonant. And please. a consonant, Gareth. And that is D. Thank you very much indeed. We'll go on to this one right now. Yes, that's time, Gareth. I've just got a five. A five now, then, Wayne. Just five. Oh, well. right, another five. Wayne's five. Paddy. Sorry. Paddy. P a double d y, as in a field. A paddy, Gareth. Yeah, I've got the same. Paddy. Paddy. Yeah, paddy. We've got. I thought one of the first four letters come up. P d p e d i. I thought oh, paediatrician. Brilliant. I'm going to have it. <laughs> and then uh, brain went. And I kept thinking of Colonel Gaddafi for some reason. <laughs> Anyone else there? Libya. No. Just me, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> 43 and 29 we have, and we have round seven, and it's uh, Wayne's letters again. Start with a vowel this time, Carl. All right, thank you, Wayne. We start then with E. And the consonant. F. Another consonant, please. W. A vowel. O. Another consonant. S. Another consonant, please. K. A vowel. A. <laughs> a consonant. <laughs> what now? <laughs> R. And another consonant, please. And another consonant. And uh, T. Thank you. So that's the last letters game, and uh, we move on to the countdown.
and that's time. Wayne? Six again. Six again. Gareth? I've got six as well. Right, what have you got, Gareth? Forest. A forest. Yes, you've got forest. Wayne? Waters. Waters? Yes. As yes. in waters the garden. As in what? As in waters the garden. <laughs> as in waters the garden? Yes. Oh, yes, I never... <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> he is a graduate of Salford University. <laughs> As in Waters the Garden, uh, right. Yeah, well, we've got a, a great four-letter word, which is for me and you, which is wax, after our last <laughs> discussion. <laughs> I thought that was a Russian... No, it wasn't. That's a, what, no, it was a Russian wasp, isn't it? Um, and Skater, we came up with six, and then uh, between us, we conjured up software for eight. Yes. Now, that is a goodie, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yes, we'll just uh, have a look at that in all its glory. And there it is. Software is very nice indeed. Well done. Thanks. Pleasure. So, 49 and 35, two rounds to go. Numbers from Gareth. Uh, could I have one from the top, please, Carol, and five others? And five smaller ones, Gareth. Okay. Numbers this time around are two and nine, six and eight, ten and fifteen. Let's see if it's uh, slightly more difficult than the last game. Oh, 310. Well, we'll see. 310, here we go. isn't it, Gareth? Yeah, I've got 310. Yeah, Wayne? 310. Yeah. Do you want to go at this, Richard? Yeah, 309. <laughs> 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 well, that's all. Try, I'll try it. Yeah. Is it 50 times 6 plus 10, Carol? I think it might be, Richard. Yes, well done, you. Is that, is that the way you did it, Gareth? I put down 50 times 6 plus 8 plus 2. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And Wayne? I did it your way. Um, you did it my way. Yeah. Well, it just shows what a clever dick you are. Really. It <laughs> <laughs> a clever Rudyard, please. <laughs> Rudyard, sorry. Well, we got 59 after that bit of fun, and we got 45. Yes. So good scores. Um, but there's only going to be one winner, as they say. So let's see who gets this conundrum. Please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. And young Wayne buzzes to say... Slapstick. Slapstick. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, OK, well, that's a great game. Great comeback, 55 to 59. But I'm afraid, Wayne, it's not your day today. So with 59 points and into the semi-final of this group goes Gareth Williams. So, see you later. Wayne won't see you, but very good to see you back. Uh, good to be back. Yeah, we were a very popular chap when you were on. You, uh, it's just a tough old world, isn't it? I mean, graduates, it's, it's not easy for... I mean, it sounds trite, but it's... You're a living proof. Good yeah. degree, and really just... I find it can get very difficult. Yeah, at least I can spend some more time looking for a job now, instead of coming back to Countdown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, you can look at this on your mantelpiece instead. Thank you very much right, indeed. Thank you. Good lad. Uh, Wayne Kelly, goodbye. <laughs> So we've got, uh, we've got Tim Morrissey through, we've got Kevin Nelson through, we've got Gareth Williams through. Who's going to go through to be the fourth person? Either Tony Vick here, that's Tony, or Robert Tewton. That'll be the lineup for tomorrow. But sadly, we won't have Mr Digels with us, which is a great pity, but you are allowed the final word tonight, Richard. Yes, OK. Well, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. It's been a nice week. Um, pleased with software, pleased with utterance on the uh, first yeah. show, I think. Um, Messed up on the conundrum. I had stickleback. It's really <laughs> desperate, isn't it? I've got 310 now, by the way. I've worked it out. <laughs> and uh, it's very nice to have been in there. Next time, perhaps they could mend the lose, because just before uh, 
I, I came on, I was a bit nervous, and I, I couldn't open the door. I, the door would not open for me. I tried so hard, and I tried and I tried, and I was desperate. And in the end, I said, you are out of order. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to put uh, 10p piece in the loose here, you know. Times are hard. Oh, that's, that's what I was going that's wrong. No one told you about that. Anyway, a lot of fun with you, Richard. We th I hope you'll come back and see us again I've soon. I've enjoyed it. Thank Richard you very, very much. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so he's off. Uh, David's off. Uh, well done on your baptism of fire, David. Not easy, but especially when we've got these champions here. These, so we wish you all the very best. Hope to see you again soon. Meanwhile, of course, uh, the girlies are back in town tomorrow. Jenny Hanley will be here and Susie Dent. So they'll be there, and Carol, as always, will be there. We'll be so here. goodbye, Carol. Yeah, we'll see you then. And I am delighted to say, all being well, we'll be here. So that's great fun, isn't it, for all of us tomorrow. We'll see you then tomorrow. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>